Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing well. Welcome to another fan to play fantasy match preview. This was the second test match between India and Bangladesh. And we have the test match pro with us today, Nikhil Bhai, to carry you through the preview and give you his insights on who will be those differentials in a game that is more likely to be 7 4 for most players. Yes, thank you so much for having me. And yeah, I think second tests are always more tricky. Uh, you can obviously always try and risk in the first one, but by the second one, everybody knows everything. And because the match is also at a venue which is going to assist spinners, so I don't think there are going to be too many differentials in terms of new people to try. So watch out for a few mm. debuts if there are. And uh, I think it's been a year of debutants. Uh, be it Scott Ball and uh, Abra Ahmed was great. Rayhan Ahmed think that was excellent. So hopefully that continues. But uh, yeah, let's see. I don't think there will be too many changes, which is why uh, you'll see you'll probably have to invest very smartly post toss. Yes, and don't forget the fact that uh, Nikhil Boy's pick last time around, Zakir Hassan, was the shining light with the bat, too. So expect more of the same come this game. And first up, we'll discuss what are the expected venue conditions. Yep. So, Nikhil, by what are your expectations for from the venue? Are you just expecting more raging turn, or are they going to actually pitch out something a bit more flat, or that's something that's going to assist Pacers? I think it will be a good wicket to start. Uh, hmm. your probably average score will be around 350, 340, 350, but uh, it could easily start taking turn in the first session itself. But uh, like we saw in uh, Chattogram, has always had a history. That over the period of taste, the wicket starts to slow down and batting hmm. is slightly easier, which I don't think is always the case here. Uh, you mostly see matches uh, getting done by spin. So, if you look at the last few matches that have happened here, uh, Pakistan won by innings and eight runs. And if you just look at the scorecards, you see 365, 506, but then 169 and 29. This is the Sri Lanka Bangladesh game. Where one of your grand league picks, which we will discuss ahead, scored a very good uh, 150, uh, and that is how the the corresponding game is well went. So I'll just read out for you to have a much clearer idea that how the scores are going on. So Pakistan scored 300, then Bangladesh got out for 87, and then they had follow on 205 out, and that's how Pakistan won. So you see, it starts well, but there will always be that a couple of sessions where you will see plenty of wickets fall to spin. And then the, our team starts to play catch up. So uh, that is something that will be very interesting to see how it uh, works out with this team. I think spin and uh, good to bat first, maybe. Right. So the guys who are going to bat in the first few sessions are going to be Possibly. your key picks in terms of the batting section from what we expect. So let's look at what the base team layout looks like for this one. Before we get to team setup, let's also look at what is going to be the kind of leagues you can play and what is the risk meter saying for this game in terms of the kind of risk that you have to take. So, Nikhil, why small leagues for the test match or you feel like you're going to rely more on mini GLs yet? Uh, I think if it's the same level that is probably expected, uh, you'd probably want to take a couple of, hmm. make play, maybe play two teams. So, if you're going to make a common team that is there that we are also going to show you, which is going to be three Indian batters, one Bangladesh batter, two two spinners from each side. Uh, India has three, so you will want, want to pick all three of them. So, if you are going to play with a common team, then I think you would probably want to play uh, mini GLs because here also your common team, your captain, vice captains are, are very important. Now, key thing to note, Shakib might play as a batter alone. Now, of course, now it's now the time where you could get the advantage that you have that information prior. Now everybody will know this. So most of them will probably give him, not give him the captaincy or vice captaincy, but he'll still be there in most teams. Now, if you have the gut feel that he'll not work out or only as a batter, the returns might be better from somebody else, then you can take the risk of dropping him also if you feel like. But that's a massive drop because he comes down very low in the batting order. So uh, if you are very confident about your combination, then I'll say you should definitely play small leagues. And I think it will depend for me on the toss if there are any changes. Otherwise, I think mini-GLs are going to again be 
multi winners that is uh, you can have five six players and then two winners also that also works because then you are going to take an extra risk even in this team if you see vimran ashwin captain he did not take more than one wicket in the last game kuldeep took a lot aksar took a lot and mehdi again is the vice captain because you expect him to bat so i think the risk factor also if you see for this game it's probably going to be medium because there aren't too many people that you can try uh, so hmm. post toss if you have many more options then the risk can be a bit more for you to play around with yes so risk factor is medium because the number of options like we say when the risk factor is medium the number of options apart from the guys that we've picked are very limited to try and we are banking on the experience of ashwin to come good in this one we also yeah. saw akshar being delayed a little bit in terms of yeah. his him being brought into the attack so that could play a tricky role as far as fantasy value is concerned especially if the pitch is turning and if we are bowling in the second and fourth innings in that case yeah. if there's initial turn then it might become difficult especially if akshar's entry point is later and obviously ashwin will give you batting value at some point in a test match so hence we've opted for that and in the bowling we have gone with both the left armers in kuldeep and tajul so we have not taken any pace assuming that the that the captains would like to bring on spin right from the get go especially yeah. from the second innings onwards so yes it's totally a fantasy value call and based on whatever we have seen in the first test match that we have taken these decisions but if you see something sparsely uh, sparsely different mm-hmm. come the pitch report then you can take a different call bilkul see the year again one more thing that you can possibly keep in mind is because the conditions are still likely to be loaded in the favor of spin they are more likely to bowl more overs so even if a pacer is possibly taking a couple of wickets up top he yeah. may not get to bowl as much as a spinner will right through so and if the if you feel that will continue to deteriorate and have spin assist uh, spinners then there is more likely that the guy can cover up for those two wickets but unless you feel that one of the bowler will take a fifer then you can definitely go ahead and take that guy based on your visualization yes so it's going to be batting and spinning and spinners that's going to be the order of the day so let's see what are the grand league picks that await you for this one so from what have we discussed in terms of conditions and in terms of expectations because we are loading up the spinners and the batting i think shreyas ayer will be one to watch out for from india because of recent form and because i feel like one big knock is due for him in a test match around 2 and the second pick for me is mushfiqur rahim not only because his adrenaline pumps up in weird ways when he looks at the indian players but also because in this sort of format he can give you good stable value because there's no hurry in terms of time that is required and his experience will come to the fore especially in these conditions yes i think that's uh, pretty fair uh i'll go with two batters again which is very rare for me to do but because we've picked almost every possible spinner or bowler that is there so i think it makes only sense to because that is where the differential are going to be who are the batters that you pick out uh, from the two teams so from bangladesh i expected momenul to start in the first game he did not because of his form which is fair and uh, from whatever russell said the coach if he's playing then i'll definitely be tempted to take him uh if not him then you can definitely go with nitin das because das dada in form so that's a very happy swap for you to have and from india i am hoping for a special from virat uh so let's see how it goes yes two big calls and two calls especially the latter that would make many people happy if it works and we have seen many of them already works across test matches so i'm sure that there's one more awaiting you in the cauldron so enjoy the enjoy this one have a great game and you to tell us in the comments who your man of the match for this game will be have a good one and all the good luck to all of you yes please keep trying let's see